Hey guys, so if you have not already, make sure that you are subscribed. Go ahead and take the time to click that button. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I definitely feel the love. I'm definitely having fun. I love to see the comments, so keep them coming. But let's get into this latest episode because it was a little touchy for me. I don't know about you guys, but it was touchy for me and I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Like, I mean, I like the show, of course, the episode, but I didn't like the situation. Um, so let's get into this tweet. We're gonna start off with the tweet and then we'll break some of the other stuff ha that happened down around it. But let's start off with the tweet that came out about Isaiah and Sydney. So if you guys were watching, then we all saw that they brought up the tweet um, where it was referencing that Isaiah felt like uh, Phoebe was a natural beauty, beauty in comparison to Sydney. <sighs> now I'm gonna give you that's a couple of reasons why I don't like that. Um, the first being I was disappointed that Love Island even put the tweet out there. I get it, y'all. I know it's real, real time, real life. It's, it's, people are going to put stuff out and it's going to be read. But I was disappointed because I get concerned about people's mental health. The show in general, I keep bringing this up with the premise of the show and mental health always concerns me. But to bring it up in that environment in that way, um, you know, I just, I want to make sure Sydney's okay. As a person, like beyond love island because that's a hard pill to swallow as you know we live in a world where it's constant comparison it's constant filtering putting stuff on uh, images of perfection of what someone else someone else thinks you should be and and to, to be in an isolated um space I think that's a hard pill to swallow. And in some ways it could be better in that moment because she does have the girls to rely on and she doesn't have to hear the outside noise. But also with such a big thing coming up, you also may want your family, you may feel isolated and alone. So it's a lot of different ways to look at it and you're still in there with the same person who you feel like you've been compared to, the person who said it. Um, so it's just not the best situation that's that's my first thought um two <laughs> i don't like it because i don't you can't and again this is something for me maybe it's the mom in me that's coming out now i, I it's, it is something i preach with my boys all the time it looks is something that you can't control if you're blessed to look how people feel that you should look great but it can change in an instant anything can happen you could get chemically burned you could be in an accident you could be get sick so it's always who you are, the essence of who you are that is most important that always um, should take precedent over everything. Do I get that people have types? Of course I do. I get that. And that's always going to happen. But um, yeah, who you are. And so for me, when I compare those young ladies based on the essence of who they are and what they bring into a room, I'm picking Sydney all day. And that's important and now do i believe like i don't know well, let me not say do that because i don't know i don't know if isaiah wants to marry you know sydney i don't know if you know he even wants her to be his girlfriend outside the villa but i do think that he recognizes something special in sydney that phoebe just wasn't bringing and it was evident because she is an attractive girl um, and whether it worked out with her and Isaiah, it wasn't working out with her and Chaz, it wasn't working out with her or whomever else. I don't even feel like going down the list. Y'all know, you can check out some other videos, but it hasn't worked with other people because something is lacking, even as attractive as she is. And so Isaiah very well could be using it for the show. I don't know, or maybe he really could like her, but there certainly is something that is special that we as America recognize. And that I do think that he recognizes as well. And every time you look, Phoebe's name is caught up in some mess. Obviously, she did kind of reference in this situation, but it goes well beyond this. And I'm not going to put this situation on her. That's not her fault. That was someone else. Unfortunately, I, I, as much as I, because I didn't like Isaiah when he said it. I, and I thought, I, I, I always, y'all, if you listen to me, I will try to give people the benefit of the doubt. Um, and I know guys sometimes can be stupid, especially young 21 year olds. They can be stupid. They speak right out, especially someone as passionate and as, um, reactionary as Isaiah. Now, do we want him to even think these things about anybody? No, but sometimes people talk too damn much. It's just the truth. 
Um, but what was said, because I feel like words get twisted around a bit, and this is where Phoebe doesn't help the situation. I, she, she, I don't want to say master manipulator, because I guess she hasn't mastered it, obviously. But she certainly does flip words, um, which later she did kind of with this situation. But I won't go with because I don't want to misquote anything. But in particular, in saying, because this was not her fault, I want to reiterate that with a tweet. Uh, what Isaiah said, if and you guys can, uh, you know, quote me if I'm wrong, you know, clear it up. But what he said was that you are pretty, well, you look really pretty without makeup. That is what was said and I didn't like it when he said it I thought that it was kind of a dig at Sydney or it could have been taken as one but I thought it was such a low-key comment if it wasn't focused on then it wouldn't be you know it didn't have to be the biggest deal um but it was said <laughs> And, you know, and it could go either way because he did, he genuinely didn't have to mean that much by it. And now this whole thing has been blown up into this huge thing. So as it pertains to Phoebe, just with it, I don't know if her ego needs constant stroking or if just something happened where it just seems to be this constant need of validation and her handling of the situation. Again, Twitter tweets, we can't control that, not her fault at all. How she handled it afterwards, I didn't like it. And I feel like that's always my issue with her. And she's mess messy and I don't, just messy, deceiving, um, self-serving. I just, it's a lot of stuff that just comes, how it comes across. When the girls were all in the dressing room, and this is once the, the tweet first came out and everyone kind of rallied around. Now, I understand as Phoebe being the person who the tweet was about is who she's being, who Sydney would be being compared to. I can understand maybe feeling a little um, nervous about saying something because you don't know how it's going to be perceived. But at the same time, as someone who constantly um, preaches about like, you know, kind of pushing this for women, you know, as a woman or what I need or this and that, or, you know, we should, I like to be upfront. Um, I definitely think that it was an opportunity for her to kind of say something because you always have something to say. You always, you know, and in this moment, you know, I just felt like there was nothing to be said. <laughs> and I just thought it was an opportunity to kind of just kind of dead the situation and maybe even make it a little bit less than what it was. But do I understand why she might not have done it? Of course, I understand it. I can understand maybe being hesitant and not wanting to do it. But then instead of, okay, well, let's let that be. And I'm going to let Sydney process what was said. Her and Naja are so messy. So anytime, I, I've given Naja the benefit of the doubt, y'all. I really have. But this just solidified. As far as I'm concerned, Phoebe, Naja, Chad, they can all go together. Okay, they can take, we can package them up. Uh, buy what I get too free okay I like I just it's it was it's just the messiness of it all and the constantly well Jeff did you know so Jeff like and I, and I get kind of wanting to source details but when it's not, not or it doesn't come across as it's coming from a genuine place and you could tell Jeff regardless how everybody may feel about Jeff may feel about his deliveries at his core he seems like a nice guy like he doesn't seem like he's trying to hurt anybody you know and I just I didn't like I, I just hated all of the handling of that and then also granted this could also be coming off the piggybacking off the situation with uh, Mackenzie Phoebe and Chad so Phoebe just to me is just in a horrible light and it keeps getting hor like worse and worse <laughs> and I'm just I'm so ready for her to go I hated the situation with Mackenzie and Phoebe because it was, again, it was another situation where something could have, be, could have been deaded. You have the guy, so what are you mad about Mackenzie and any comment or anything she has to say? Of course, she may have a di different opinion and doesn't mean she's right. Maybe not. Maybe so. But what difference does it make to you if you have the guy? Like, it's, again, it's this constant need of ego stroking and needing this sense of validation is and it just it, it it irks me it irks me it really does what her and chad did was messy and what really pisses me off and particularly with phoebe is the backtracking 
you boldly went and kissed Chad, and then you come back, oh, I just want to let you know I, I kissed Chad. Like, why, as, as a woman, because that, that comes up a lot, why couldn't you go to Mackenzie and say, you know what, Joel picked me before I really had a chance to do this, and I want to see intimately. You know, I want to see, I really feel an attraction, and I may kiss Chad, or I may do this, but the whole sneaking of the games behind the back and to come back and just do that, is so ridiculous now again sometimes we can do stuff that's stupid and maybe she thought she was sparing Mackenzie's feelings whatever and and obviously she thought Mackenzie might try to you know maybe move in I, I don't I don't know whatever okay and so Mackenzie kind of says something to the effect that you know that's not what he's saying to her and this is where it pisses me off with Phoebe because I like I feel like she likes to play word games a lot and like and it's almost insulting to other people's intelligence now, again, like I said, whether what Mackenzie said was true or not, like it was true to her and that's okay because that's her perspective. And again, when you have the guy, what else? What else? What else? And not just constantly there back in her back and her back in her butt, nonetheless. Um, Mackenzie just says that that was not what he was saying to me. And if, if a guy were talking to me, I would want him to fully be honest with me. Um, you know, I, I would want him to be fully honest with me because that's what, you know, that's, that, it's just it's a sign of your character. It is, and he, with Courtney, when he was really feeling Courtney still, he was able to say that. Now, again, whether he really feels this way or not, or what, she has a right to that opinion. And so, of course, Phoebe goes back and she talks to Chad. Chad says, oh, well, like, that's pissing him off and he feels some kind of way. And instead of her just deading it and the boy has agreed with you, you got him, we're good. No, she goes back to Mackenzie. Well, see, because you don't know. And that's, of course, like, I mean, like, well, like she said, like, maybe he didn't feel comfortable telling a girl who was interested in, in him that, you know, this is how he's feeling. Maybe he thought he was sparing her feelings, whatever. Maybe he was hedging his bets. But it's just the messiness of it. And her, and her and Chad both, they have to own that. And I'm so disappointed that Mackenzie's even back. I think that she, and, and I really like Mackenzie. There was some stuff in the second season. No, I didn't like everything that she did, but um, I really like her. And, and the Mackenzie that I knew before, if you watch season two, it's definitely some growth and maturity that has come because how she handled it, handled that situation was amazing and I think totally different than how she would have handled it um a few years ago so and not that she was a classless or but you know sometimes she could whine and be you know but she definitely handled it like a lady and I, that's how you're supposed to <laughs> and I just think she's above this little situation with Chad even for her to be put and coupled up with Chad is so disappointing because she had one of the most special relationships again it, the, you know it did last a little while outside the villa whether we liked it or not whether we thought it was perfect whatever the case it is it was one of the more special relationships so to her to be coupled with this guy that we as america don't like we're not feeling and he's just like it's just it's not right <laughs> like we liked her and connor it was an iconic moment uh you know it was this it was definitely helped put the imprint on Love Island USA, um, you know, along with obviously the Sellies, the Justines. So for me, I, I would totally be fine. I don't, I would rather, I thought she was going to walk out the door and just leave, but, um, cause I don't really want to see her be sent, but I'm not mad girl. If she leaves, I would not be mad at all. Um, she's better than this. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. I, Naja is so, uh, obviously y'all are feeling the same way too i'm just not, i'm not here for them at all like i really like jeff it's nausea and how she handled this situation with sydney and it just seems like she's just constantly around for the mess now do i understand because we all saw the situation with bria i do get sometimes how the girls can be clickish and how you can be isolated out and nausea also coming from the outside uh, a little bit later couldn't understand that and see that so maybe she's trying to relate to Phoebe so Phoebe doesn't feel alone however just the, the handling how how it looks like they handle some stuff is so disappointing and I'm just not here for it at all but on a positive note because we've been a little heavy for a few minutes um 
I guess positive, interesting, whatever you want to call it. Because America was just not here for none of the couples right now, okay? But I want to say for me, I still really like Zita and Timmy. And I still like Jesse and Deb. And I almost like, I don't want, like with Sydney and Isaiah, I don't even want to give anybody the satisfaction of seeing Sydney be that bothered. Like, um, and not satisfied because I get that because I don't think the tweet was meant to be hurtful at all. I think it was just saying like, look, girl, I want to I want to let you know that this is what was said. This is who he is. But um, like I said before, I think I do think he notices something dynamic. Now, whether it's the user to win or whether he, you know, I don't know. Now, Deb and Jesse. So they finally get their night in a hideaway. And I like as time goes on, I really, really like them together. Now, whether again, like I always say, whether it's beyond the Love Island universe, I don't know. But when they're there, I just they're so fun, they're so cute, and they just vibe. And I really thought it was cute to get them to, to see them in the hideaway, just kind of still be themselves. They didn't turn into some kind of sex kittens, or they're still not dorky. They were still the dorky, their dorky selves, and I loved every bit of it. Uh, Zeta and Timmy, some of y'all think that Timmy is not <laughs> for Zeta. He is not really feeling her. He is just riding in coach, as you say, and she is riding first class. You know, I don't know. I don't know because um, I feel like we still don't see enough of Zeta and Timmy. I really like Zeta and Timmy. I like what we've seen, you know, like what we saw early on and then the little bit we do get to see now. I like their vibe, but, you know, you just you just don't know. You just don't know. And um, I'm trying to think who else. Like, I would like to see uh, Mackenzie and jo I, I don't want to see Mackenzie just stay and just be with anybody. I would much rather see her go. But I do think that Mackenzie, just from what I know from her with season two and kind of what she was looking for, what she had been around and dated, what we saw her with Connor and um, what Joel said he's looking for. And as a 28 year old, you know, with these things that he has. Um, I think that they're better suited for one another in life, but it's a small pool of guys. I don't want her to try to force the issue. If it's not there, it's not there. She's amazing and she will definitely, definitely go find somebody. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything because I just, that whole um, Sydney Isaiah tweet threw me so off. And just as someone who has struggled with mental health, um, I'm really cautious about that and that always takes priority so if you ever see me like or something that comes up and I think that it's gonna you know um you know be detrimental some sort of somebody's mental health then know that we're gonna get a whole segment on mental health and somebody's well-being so that's all I got for tonight guys like we got this um America we bought I've never ran to the phone so fast to vote but we we got our votes in, so we're voting for the lowest couple. I am prayerful, and I, I, I hate to see it, Joel, but I don't even know who else you would be with, really, unless we can kind of finagle it where they we get the lowest couples down, and then they um, get the Islanders to vote one boy, one girl, something like that. Uh, but if that doesn't happen, then I'm going to have to say I want to see Joel and Phoebe go, and just i'm so, like joel you're collateral damage you're just a casualty of a war of hate from phoebe i'm so sorry <laughs> um but if not chad and mckenzie because you just leave before like if it comes down to that but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments let me know if mental health was a concern for you guys like it popped up in my mind because maybe i'm jumping the gun but you let me know what you think in the comments definitely don't forget to subscribe and i can't wait to have this conversation with you guys maybe in the comments let's talk about it let's vibe out and i'm gonna see you guys tuesday night okay peace